Hello, welcome, thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be doing a high score challenge. Now, Luther Gond and I decided that we would uh, challenge each other to a little contest so you could get the highest score in a game that neither of us are particularly familiar with. And the game that we decided to play, as you can see, is Devil Crash MD. Now, if you haven't heard of Devil Crash MD, um, that's because it's the Japanese release of the game that was known in the West as Dragon's Fury for the Sega Mega Drive and the Genesis in uh, North America and Europe. Um, and that is, in turn, is the home console port of uh, the arcade pinball classic Devil's Crush. Now, we chose to play uh, Devil Crash MD rather than Dragon's Fury for a couple of reasons. First of all, we wanted to make sure that we were both playing the same version of the game. Um, and second of all, there's a little novelty factor attached to playing the Japanese version, because when it was ported to the West, they censored some of the graphics, uh, probably because they thought maybe that the uh, uh, some of the imagery in the game might corrupt the youth of the West. Uh, so there's some like graphics in the game that you don't get in the European and American versions. Uh, so we thought it'd be interesting just to, to play that one instead. So we're both going to be playing using a Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 4B, uh, and we're both using the Libretro Genesis Plus GX emulator to play it. And in case you're interested, the controller I'm using is the Retrobit Sega Saturn style Bluetooth controller, eight button controller. Actually, I don't think Retrobit sell it anymore because uh, I think they discontinued all their Sega products. But uh, it's a controller that I really like using to play Mega Drive games. So that's the controller I'm going to be using today. Not that I need all those buttons for a pinball game. Uh, really, the left and the right flipper is pretty much all I need. So what we're going to do, we're going to be releasing the video at more or less the same time. As soon as I know um, the address of Luther Gon's video, I will put a link to it in the description. Um, so I urge you to check it out and uh, check out more of Luther Gon's videos as well, because uh, they're worth watching. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to play the game. I've had a few practice runs and now I'm recording my attempt uh, and I'm going to be, uh, be quiet for it. Enough of my jibber jabber. Uh, I'll speak to you again when it's all over. Uh, so I'm just going to get this game started and I'm going to leave you to enjoy it. So, have fun watching and uh, let's hope it's not over more or less before it begins. <laughs> okay, I'll, uh, I'll see you on the other side.
Well, I guess that's the end of the game. You know, um, I don't think it's hard to beat. I've got a feeling I'm going to be thrashed in this little contest. Uh, but I'm actually quite pleased that I lasted as long as I did. Especially pleased that I managed to beat one of the special stages. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm by no means a pinball wizard. But, but I do love a pinball game and this is one of the good ones. So that's my score, uh, 14,679,900, I think it was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, thanks for watching. And like I said, if you haven't seen Luther Gun's video yet, you ought to go go to the link in the description now and uh, and check out what, what, what his score was. And... Uh, and um and that's i think that's that's going to be it for me today uh got something else planned for next week and i uh, hope you enjoy that 
and I'll see you soon. All right. Have a great one. Goodbye.